good morning my dear students welcome to the discussion on the topic cycloidal curves under this we are discussing general cycloid under general cycloid we are going to discuss special case what is this special case that is rolling circle rolls half revolution on horizontal surface and another half revolution on vertical surface this is the fourth problem we are discussing under cycloidal curves now we will enter into the problem. The given problem is a circle of diameter 50 mm rolls without slip on a horizontal surface by half revolution and then it rolls up a vertical surface by another half revolution. Initially the point P is at the bottom of the circle. Draw the path of the point P. Here diameter of the rolling circle is 50 mm and this rolling circle rolls half revolution on horizontal surface and another half revolution on vertical surface then we have to trace out the moment of the point p on the circumference of the rolling circle now we'll write the data from the given problem here what is the curve to be constructed cycladal curve and what is the diameter of the rolling circle 50 mm name of the curve to be constructed cycloid and diameter of the rolling circle 50 mm then here in this problem the rolling circle rolls half revolution on horizontal surface and another half revolution on vertical surface so the length of the directing line for horizontal surface and the length of the directing line for vertical surface is same which is equal to pi d by 2 that is length of the directing line for half revolution which is equal to pi d by 2 which is equal to 157 by 2 which is equal to 78.5 mm here this is the rolling circle this rolling circle rolls half revolution on this horizontal surface and remaining half revolution on this vertical surface then we trace out the moment of the point p the moment of the point is to be in this way so this shape will get after half revolution on horizontal surface and half revolution on vertical surface now we'll see overview of construction in brief as a first step draw horizontal line and vertical line then here this pi d by 2 length is the length of the directing line and this pi d by 2 is the length of the directing line then draw rolling circle p is the point at the bottom of the rolling circle and then this rolling circle rolls in a clockwise direction for half revolution on this horizontal surface then the path of, path travel of the point p is in this path like this just observe how the cursor is moving in this path you will get path travel of the point p for half revolution this bottom portion of the rolling circle point p reaches to the top of the rolling circle here so this is the path travel of the point p for half revolution then this rolling circle rolls remaining half revolution on this vertical surface Then, what is the shape of the curve we obtained? The shape of the curve obtained is more or less V shape you will get here. Like this, you will get. Then, this is the required shape we need to construct. Then, this is the rolling circle, and this one that is pi d by 2, and this pi d by 2, these two lines are directing lines and this curve is cycladal curve now we will see the construction of cycladal curve when rolling circle rolls half revolution on horizontal surface and another half revolution on vertical surface in a more detailed way the diameter of the rolling circle is equal to 50 mm then circle rolls half revolution horizontally 
and another half revolution vertically. So the length of the directing lines horizontal or vertical is equal to pi d by 2 which is equal to 157 by 2 which is equal to 78.5 millimeters. Next step is construction of sectoral curve with the above data. With C as center and rolling circle radius that is 25 mm, draw a circle, divide the rolling circle into 12 equal divisions and take point P on the circumference of the rolling circle that's to at the bottommost position that is here. At point P on the circumference of the rolling circle, draw a tangent to the rolling circle. The length of the tangent is equal to half of the circumference of rolling circle that is pi d by 2 to 78.5 mm. Here the circle rolls clockwise direction and PQ is the directing line for half revolution and then this line is called directing line and this diameter is 50 mm that is rolling circle diameter is 50 mm and this line is directing line then next step is divide pq line into six equal parts why we have to divide this pq directing line into six equal parts as we divided rolling circle into 12 equal divisions so for half revolution the rolling circle rolls on this horizontal surface that's why we have to divide pq directing line into six equal divisions so divide pq line into six equal divisions by using dividing a line into equal parts concept name those divisions on the directing line as one two three four five six after that Passing through different division points on the rolling circle parallel to the directing line, draw lines. Then passing through the center of the rolling circle parallel to the directing line, draw a line. After that, with reference to this directing line, divide the locus of path line also into same number of equal division, that is six divisions. So draw perpendiculars at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 towards this locus of path line. Then name these points as C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6. After that, as we divided this horizontal directing line into six equal parts and then we will draw directing line when the circle rolls vertically up then divide that directing line also into six equal divisions that is here this rolling circle rolls half revolution on this horizontal surface remaining half revolution on the vertical surface so here draw new directing line and the length of the new directing line is equal to 78.5 mm or pi d by 2. And divide this new directing line also into six equal divisions. Name those divisions on the line as 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 like that. After that, parallel to the directing line and passing through the different division points on this rolling circle, say 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Draw line parallel to the directing line passing through these division points on this rolling circle. And this is locus of path line when the circle rolls vertically up for half revolution. Then at 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
draw perpendiculars onto this locus of path line. Then name these points as C7, C8, C9, C10, C11, C12. After that, C1 as a center, CP as a radius, that is rolling circle radius. Try an arc on the first division line passing through the rolling circle. So here we will get a point. So this is P1. C2 as a center, CP as a radius. Draw an arc on the second division line. Here we will get P2 point. C3 as a center, CP as radius. Draw an arc on the third division line. Here we will get P3 point. Similarly, repeat the procedure for the remaining points. So for half of the revolution of the rolling circle on this horizontal surface, you will get path shape of the curve as like this. So for half revolution, this P point moves to topmost portion on this rolling circle. For the remaining half revolution, this rolling circle rolls on this vertical surface. Then get C7 as a center with compass. Keep compass leg here. C7 as a center, CP as a radius, try an arc on the seventh division line passing through this rolling circle. Here we'll get point. Here we'll get point. Similarly, C8 as a center, CP as a radius, draw an arc on this eighth division line. Here we'll get point. C9 as a center, CP as a radius, draw an arc on ninth division line. Here we'll get point. C10 as a center, draw an arc on the seventh. 10th division line. Here you will get point. C11 as a center, draw an arc on the 11th division line. Here you will get point. Then C12 as a center, CP as a radius, draw an arc. Here you will get point. Finally, join these points. So P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, P8, P9, P10, P11, P12. So finally join all these points with the help of a smooth curve. That's to dark curve. Here for all these arcs, we have taken radius as rolling circle radius. Here, diameter of the rolling circle 50 mm and length of the directing line for half revolution 78.5 mm and length of the directing line for another half revolution 78.5 mm. That is here, in this case, this rolling circle rolls half revolution on horizontal surface and remaining half revolution on vertical surface. And we have taken the point at the bottommost portion. So we got the curve shape like this. This is the required cycloid. Here, all dimensions are in millimeters and construction lines are with 3H pencil. Dimensioning is with 2H pencil and required curve that is cycloidal curve is with H pencil. That's about the construction of cycloid when rolling circle rolls half revolution on horizontal surface and another half revolution on vertical surface by taking the point at the bottommost portion of the rolling circle. Visit again for more videos on engineering graphics. The links provided under description of this video. Keep learning and knowledge sharing. If you have any queries, you can mention under comment section under this video. I'll respond.